And in tonight's Health Watch, as many as 20% of our military veterans from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan suffer from PTSD. But anyone who's been through a traumatic event can have PTSD. Well, now a potential game-changing drug that could launch a new era in psychiatric treatment, helping a wide range of patients. Here's CBS News Chief Medical Correspondent, Dr. John LaPook. Devastated by PTSD, in 2006, Jonathan Lubecki tried to take his own life. I put a loaded 9mm to my temple and I pulled the trigger. That was the first suicide attempt that I had. I've had a total of five. After his last attempt in 2013, the Iraq War veteran began participating in a clinical trial of MDMA, the active ingredient in ecstasy, during sessions with specially trained therapists. How do I feel normal again, if that makes any sense? My world changed. This therapy is the sole reason that my son has a father instead of a folded flag. Lubecki says he's now living a life free from PTSD. MDMA mutes the amygdala, which is your, your fight or flight response. Your emotions stay in this happy medium range that they need to be in for the therapy to work. Research organization MAPS PBC first began clinical trials of MDMA in 2003. It announced the findings of its latest trials this month. 88% of the people had clinically significant decrease in their PTSD symptoms. 67% of them lost their PTSD diagnosis. MAPS PBC plans to submit its results for publication and, later this year, ask the FDA to approve MDMA as a prescription medication in combination with therapy. So if somebody says to you, you're talking about ecstasy, a recreational drug, what would you say? It's being administered in a very particular manner by people that are quite well trained. We are not suggesting that anyone try this on their own at home in their living room. No flashbacks, no panic attacks, no anxiety. Lubecki is finishing his third humanitarian aid mission to Ukraine. Everyone said PTSD can't be cured. I'm living proof that that isn't true. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York.